to outsmart the storm. Well, that started an arms race. You know those rumors we've been hearing about an even more dangerous part of the storm? A corrosive storm that closes in on you, eventually crawling you alive? Remember how I said that would never, ever, ever happen here? It's happening here. We need to retrieve the data as usual, but this time we need to watch the storm. Exposure to the storm will hurt you. A lot. You'll take damage when you're in the storm, so keep an eye on your health. We need to retrieve the data before we're overwhelmed by the storm. So you'll want to move quickly. We only have 20 minutes. Keep an eye on the storm's movement on your map. We've got a bonus in play. Captain? You sound strange. Where are you? I started a new life, where no one will ever find me. Hey, what's with this upside-down bucket on the floor? Goodbye! Captain Clark, did you read my fanfic? No. Can you promise to never, ever, 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 ever read it? Help me rebuild, my friend, and you have my word. So Eddie was a real bot? He was, and is. I have his personality backed up on a drive. All we need now is his body. This is gonna be strange to hear, coming from me, but... I don't think throwing another robot at the problem will fix anything. Eddie wasn't created to act. He was built to keep deep space crews from killing each other. Really? The team that developed Eddie were fans of the show, so they gave us an Eddie of our own. He was the only thing that kept the cast sane. There's his head. I'll start the personality transfer. Oh, hello. I'm Eddie. I seem to be just ahead. Is this okay with everyone? Ed, it's Captain Clark. We're looking for the rest of your body now. That's wonderful to hear. I don't know if this will help your search, but normally it's found just below my head. Thank you, Ed. Oh, look! My leg! I missed you, Ed. I'm sorry I've been missed. Did you miss me? I think you'd like me to say yes. So for sure, yes. Was that correct? I'll take it. More me. Very exciting. Is there anything I should know about as I come online? Yes. The world has been taken over by storm monsters. Do we like them? No, they're storm monsters. I'm sure they're just misunderstood. Landing site spotted. Nice find. Any attacks from the storm's creatures could corrupt the data. You'll want to build defenses around the balloon's landing site.
We are now up to four legs. I'm supposed to have two legs, but maybe legs three and four know something I don't. We'll just go with two. All good options. Eddie, I need you to understand something. Then I will understand that thing. The monsters are bad. No one is truly bad. You just need to see things from their perspective. They want to destroy humans. You are quite frustrating. Eddie, you need to take sides on this one issue. I am not programmed to take sides. I am programmed to see all sides. Although, is that not a flawed approach? Then again, who am I to question my own programming? And what's more, who am I to believe my own programming to be sacred? Let's give him a minute. I can't look to myself for the answer. I am built to guide decision making, not make decisions. But who else can I look to? Captain Clark? I think I have come to a conclusion. And what have you decided? I'd like to arrange a debate where both sides are represented. You want to arrange a husk slash human debate? It's the only way to come to an informed decision. Have you looked outside? Yes. Have you looked inside? It's radiating life and love. And that's not very fair to the husks now, is it?
The only way we're going to retrieve all of the data is to shoot the balloon down as soon as possible. Bring down that balloon, download that data, and get ready to move. The balloon has landed. Defend that data.
You collected all of the files! Amazing! Praiseworthy job, Commander. So, a good job. The data you collected will help us locate survivors and weak points in the storm. Welcome to the first, and hopefully last, Husk Human Debate. I am your moderator, Ray. Taking the position, don't annihilate humanity, is Ken. Ken, you have the floor. Home base, Madam Moderator, I implore you to conclude that debating with monsters is both dumb and stupid. Furthermore, it interferes with my monster fighting time, which is both awesome and fun. I yield back the balance of my time. Taking the position, love hurt people, also baseball, this tool over here. Can you have a chance to respond? No. We now open the floor to questions. Ken, how do you respond to claims that you and home base must be destroyed? With throwing stars. You two do not make it easy. He wants to destroy, and yet, he wants to not be destroyed. I never thought I'd say this, but I think we may have to... agree to disagree? Oh dear. Ken, I've been looking for your headshot, but I can't find it. That's because I am not an actor. You are one of the best actors I've ever worked with. Keep your voice down, Essie. You have talent, Ken. Don't hide from it. The only good thing about the end of the world is that no one looks at me and says, Are you the dude from Bad Quake? Say the thing! <gasps> are you the dude from Bad Quake? No. Say the thing! I'm Ken. And I'm saying goodbye. 